don't think people understand the type of trauma that goes into this. You don't see white people being treated like this. There's six of y'all, one of him, he's already in handcuffs. How many cops does it take to arrest a nigga? Don't answer that. The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by Fat Liver Jones in this podcast do not necessarily reflect reality or facts. If you're seeking factual information, we strongly encourage you to do your own research. Much of what is said here is meant to be satirical and humorous. Enjoy the ride, but take everything with a grain of salt. You feel me? All right, you know how this shit go, man. Same shit, different toilet. So shout out to Frankie Diamonds. This is when Tyreek Hill this past Sunday pulled over and arrested before his NFL game. Now, he made bail, but watching this lets me know a lot. Like, in the words of Kanye West, even if you're in the Benz, you're still a nigga in a coupe. And I know that this ain't a Mercedes Benz, but it's a nice car, and it might as well be. I'm sure it probably costs as much, if not more. The way that these cops are reacting to this man over speeding is, like, a little bit egregious so let's get into it all right so right off the bat he's telling them don't knock on my window like that and the guy's asking him why you don't have a seatbelt on and nobody's answering any questions so this is already off to a bad start i can just feel the tension building so hold up one two three three fucking cops for one speeding ticket okay Ah, see, here we go. So he knows that it's Tyreek Hill. Now, here's the thing. You know this person. They're a celebrity. They're a prominent figure. So how about you treat them with a little bit of uh, dignity? It's not like this is some random black guy in a $200,000 car. Hey, keep your window down. See, he's pissed off. Told him to put the window down. It's not like he asked him. He said, hey, keep your window down. You know, that's a thin line because when you're dealing with police, I'm just conditioned to it. When you get pulled over, just roll all the windows down. Nobody trying to get shot over a fucking traffic ticket. And that's part of the fucked up black experience in here. And not for nothing, all three of those cops, state troopers, whoever they are, they're all minorities. So they're... It's part of the, the damn agenda going on out here. Hey, keep your window down. Keep your window down, I'm going to get you out of the car. As a matter of fact, get out of the car. See, he said, oh, I'm going to get you out of the car. You know what, matter of fact, get out the car. I'm tired of talking. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. And once again, it's not like you don't know that it's Tyreek Hill. Like, there has to be some sort of level of de-escalation when it comes to the fact that you know that this is a freaking football player. It's not a rapper. And not to say that rappers are bad, but there are certain stigmas tied to people. And unfortunately, with a lot of other minorities, when they come here, their way of assimilating with white America is to shit on the black people. Yeah, I said it. Give me your ass, Get out of the car. Give me your ass, we'll break that freaking window. Get out of the car. Look, where the fuck did Officer Lint dick come from? I'm going to break the window. Like, it only takes one cop to give instructions. You don't need two. Now you're making a guy mad uncomfortable. I'm even nervous watching this shit. Get out of the car right now. We're not playing this game. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Yeah. He said he was getting out, and this isn't even the cop that initially was knocking on the window. So this guy, you know, the one standing off to the left, I guess, he's the guy that was the one that was knocking on the window. This officer, Limp Dick, is the one that came over and was like, oh, you heard him. You heard him the first time. Get out the car. Ow! What part of violence do you understand? Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew, I'm getting arrested, Drew. I'm getting arrested. So now I count four cops. I'm getting arrested, Drew. I'm getting out, bro. God damn, twin. When we tell you to do something, you do it. I'm getting you understand? Out, I'm getting See, once again, that power dynamic. When we tell you to do something, you do it. I don't think people understand the type of trauma that goes into this. You don't see white people being treated like this. I haven't seen it. And usually you would see it because, you know, people be thirsty to put out body cam footage. Out, you bro. understand? Not what you want, but what we tell you. I'm getting You're out. a little fucking confused. I'm getting out, bro. Too late. Too late. All right.
Once again, all minorities. You calling me a liar, black man? You hear the accent. I'm not saying that they weren't born here, but I'm just saying that. Bro, take you to jail, bro. Do what you gotta do, bro. We are. We will. Good, good. We doing what we want to do. We got you face down on the pavement. The problem here is, once again, the thin line. Now, should this brother have just been quiet and just went along with it or kept giving them lip? It's a thin line. Yeah, bro. It hey, is good. Hey, Drew, hey. Don't worry about it. I hung up the phone. You stop crying. Bro, y'all. Officer Limp Dick. God damn, he mad. He probably mad that that car costs more than his fucking salary. Don't move. Yeah. Bro, you beating on my window like you crazy. Set him up. Why y'all beating on my window like y'all crazy for? Now you see the, the Rolls Royce Cullen and pulling up. Watch this. Damn, yo, 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 bro. Bro, 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 yo, bro, dude, beating on my window like he crazy. I ain't do nothing, twin. Damn. Who the fuck is twin? I, that's the, like the second time I heard him say that. I ain't seen no twin over here. Hey, don't park there. Don't park there. He can't make sure that the, the brother is taken care of. Like, that's the other thing. If a black man is being detained, there's fucking five, six of y'all. More just keep showing up every fucking time I look around. There's another damn cop. There's six of y'all, one of him, he's already in handcuffs. How many cops does it take to arrest a nigga? Don't answer that. Hey! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, bro. I just had surgery on my knee. I just had surgery on my knee. Look at this fucking officer limp dick again. This guy, yo, he's going, he's on too much testosterone. Somebody had a B12 shot, some fucking ashwagandha. He had a little bit of everything this morning. He just out here bugging. My man is literally in handcuffs. You don't need to, to jump on him to bring him down. What's going on? My knee, bro. I just had surgery on my knee, bro. I just had surgery in your ears when we got there. Wow. You calling me a liar, black man? You're going to have surgery on your ears when we're done with you? This is disgusting. America's got to do better. And y'all want us to freaking, you know. <laughs> man, what the fuck? Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Hey, Joe New, bro. Back up. Hey, up. Hey, go. 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 That Rolls Royce Cullinan, I believe, starts at $300,000. That's just base model. Here's the thing. $300,000 car still isn't stopping the police from treating you like you just a another nigga. Because I know goddamn well that like, that car costs more than some houses out here. And you going to tell that man that he can't stand here and watch to make sure that this black man isn't abused? What type of world are we living in? And we all saw what happened with George Floyd, and nothing came of it. They still out here whooping on niggas. It's a shame. Hey, hey, listen. Hey, man, they got Tyreek. Hey. The cops over here beating on him, listen. man. They over here beating on Tyreek, man. man. Don't park there, man. Just get in hey, the yo, car. Hey, yo, Drew, you got to come, man. So just get in your car and get the fuck out of here. Don't, don't worry about what's about to happen to him. We're going to tighten him up. And if I come back over here, I'm going to tighten you up. I'm just telling y'all. That's what the cops said. I don't know if y'all know how to read between the lines or not, but, yeah, that's what he said. Hey. Just get in the car. Right up the side, on the side of the aisle. Hey, get in the car. You're parked at the middle of the street. I'm in the car. Get in the car. Who's the driver? This is my car. All right, move. You got to move right now. Let me have your license. You're going to have to get to let me how you like dude you just you got to move right now so i didn't run over to the driver's seat no, give me your license right now you know what next let me have your license leaving. let me I'm have leaving. your license i'm leaving i'm not playing let me I'm have your leaving. license Yo, what's your going license on? right now so what's going on, your license man? right now somebody needs to check officer limp dick i'm tired of his shit already yo he must have got bullied in school he ain't getting no chicks some black dude must have took his girl something he on one for nothing and this is all over, once again, a speeding ticket. They pulled him over for allegedly speeding. Now, I've never driven in Miami, but I know there's, like, his mad traffic down there. How fast was he going that it warranted this? Hey. You're not going to give me your license? Hey, hey, the car hey, 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 You're hey, not going to give I'm me your license? Leave. I'm leaving. Let me have I'm your leaving. license. I'm your leaving. license I'm right now. Sir, you hey, you your license. Right once again, you sure that guy's American? You calling me a liar, black man? I know that that sounds ignorant because it's like Americans have all types of accents, but you know what I'm saying. This guy clearly is a minority. And you're treating other minorities a certain type of way because you feel like you have another level of power that they are not even allowed to question you. They're not allowed to make sure that fellow minority is okay because there's eight of y'all and one of him. He's in handcuffs and there's still more cops showing up. I don't understand it. Like, how are y'all that scared? Y'all 
Y'all got all of the weapons. You got all of the power. You got me in handcuffs. Y'all still need 10 of y'all to arrest one nigga? Come on, man. Right now. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Or I'm going to lock you up. Your license right now. He just told me to Your license right now. You're dealing with me now. Your license. You're dealing with me now. Officer Limp Dick. Fuck out of here. Right now. And look, he's about to give it to him. And it sucks because, you know, minorities, we're, well, I can't speak for all minorities, but I know the black men that I grew up with are conditioned to having our license or identification on us because anytime we ran into the police, they want to know where you're going, even if you weren't doing anything. I remember just being 14, walking home from school and being stopped by the police because we look like somebody. Like, yeah, all black people look alike, I guess, you racist motherfuckers, but they don't act, they don't treat white people like this. But just watching this is another to say you can have all of the money you can have like the nice cars you can live in a nice area but if you run into an officer limp dick it's going to be a long fucking day all for nothing right a speeding ticket you could have gave the guy the speeding ticket and let him go about his business but because he didn't want to keep his window rolled down because he questioned you because of all of these things that you have a right to do as an american now whether he wants to answer it or not is a whole nother conversation but you have a right to ask that and the car is your personal space there's no reason for you to enter to here because you don't like my response or because i'm keeping my window up low i'm trying to feel safe i don't need you reaching in here bringing something in my car i don't know what you're capable of doing and seeing that y'all are operating like this lets me know all i need to know when it comes down to dealing with you goddamn state troopers in florida you calling me a liar, black man? All in all, though, I just want to say this needs to be a lesson to, like, all black men. You know, you're, you're getting money. You, you might as well ride around with a lawyer, <laughs> you know, because these type of interactions don't stop just because you're making money. These type of interactions don't stop just because you reach a level of celebrity none of it stopped they could see your face on tv every sunday and, and nine times out of ten these police officers state troopers whoever they are they're probably fans of the goddamn miami dolphins and y'all are treating one of your own like this but great man once said even if you're in the bins you're still a nigga in the coop